Non c'è spazio per i dilettanti. Claudio Serafino is a simple but effective character with a unique power-up in his Starburst, oh, which gives him access to some of the best moves in the game. He is strongest in the mid-range due to his plethora of excellent whiff punishes, safe long-ranged mids, and a massively damaging running too when he wants to start applying pressure. At close range, he lacks intimidating lows or throws, but due to his powerful mids and counter hit options, opponents will often be hesitant to attack. One of his greatest strengths is also his biggest weakness. Having the smallest move list in the game with only 57 moves and being particularly reliant on just a handful of those. This makes him easy to pick up, but also predictable at higher levels of play. It's not entirely clear what Claudio's fighting style actually is, but it seems to be, somewhat implausibly, comprised almost entirely of flamboyant Italian hand gestures. And Hopkins. <laughs> Strengths. Great homing moves such as forward 3, back 1, and forward 3 plus 4. The best hop kick in the entire game, boasting tremendous range and uniquely evasive properties. Starburst gives him access to some of the best moves in the game. A strong approach tool in running 2. This has huge range, is plus on block, and does massive burst damage. Very good whiff punishment tools. Small move list, so easy to learn. Weaknesses. Small move list, which means you need to be creative so as not to be predictable at higher levels of play. Predict, predict, predictable. Poor lows and weak throw game means he has difficulty making comebacks. Lackluster pokes without starburst. Mediocre wall game. Weak Okizeme. All right, I'm handing over the reins now to Le Crocodile Rose. Please enjoy his smooth French accent and incredibly lame jokes. Au revoir. Hello everyone, I'm Le Crocodile Rose, and today I'll be your host, as Claudio is my maid, and also my lover. But that's another story. I hope you will enjoy to spend this next hour with me. Now let's get started right away with Stop Moves. Se è così. Dovrò escogitare un'altra soluzione per farti ragionare. Osserva. Let's start off with Claudio's only jab string. One, two. And yes, it is number zero. It is my breakdown, so I do what I want. Sorry. <laughs> More seriously, one, two is not really a top move. But since it is Claudio's only jab string, it is central to his game plan. So I had to talk about it. Claudio's one, two is a generic jab string. It is a fast, high string at 10 frames that jails. In terms of damage, it is a bit above your generic jab string at 19 points. On block, it is obviously safe at minus 1, like most of jab strings, and it's great to start up Claudio's close range mix up game with moves such as back 3 as his main close range mid and sidestep 4 as his main close range low. Once the opponent has been conditioned not to retaliate using sidestep to whiff punish or crush moves, you can also go for slower plus frame moves to maintain pressure. For example, forward 4. Or if you feel the opponent is gonna sidestep, forward plus 3 plus 4. We'll go into more details on these moves later. On hit, 1 2 is plus 6, which is also common for a jab string. This means that your opponent won't be able to counter it Claudio's main launcher in and on forward 1 2. Though beware that both of these are unsafe. However, after a jab on hit, most players will freeze up. So this will be a good opportunity to open them up with Claudio's lows and throws, which admittedly aren't great. One by itself is very linear, so can be sidestepped both ways, but 
The second hit tracks very well for a jab and will hit both sidestep left and sidestep right. So the opponent will need to do a short sidewalk to evade Claudio's jabs, which is powerful for 10 frame string. A single jab is plus one on block, so will beat the opponent jab. Simply knocking on the opponent like this is a great way of testing what kind of opponent you're up against and their common tendencies. Will they freeze up? Mash? Sidestep? Down jab? Or use wild crazy panic moves? Doing a single jab out of range is also a good way to bait particularly reactive opponents. Due to its quick recovery, you'll be able to block in time and punish or enjoy plus frames. On hit, a single jab is plus 8, allowing you to continue Claudio's offense any way you want. For example, with forward 3. Claudio's forward 3 is one of the best homing moves in the game. It is a mid that does very good damage, wall splats, crushes lows, and is just barely safe on block at minus 9 like many of Claudio's moves. This is the perfect tool to punish opponents who like to sidestep. And being a screw, it is very positive on hit. At the mid-range, it is Claudio's best move, so don't be afraid of using it a lot, as to force the opponent to respect you. <laughs> but forward three, damn it. <gasps> After that, you can move on to Claudio's mix-up game, with other moves such as down 3, a tip range, to chip away their life and annoy them. Claudio's while running 2, most commonly known as the Superman Punch, is one of the best approach moves in the game. It is a fast high with great range that deals huge damage, low crushing and wall splat. It is very positive on block at plus 7 and so is an excellent tool as to start Claudio's mix-up game. Oh, and it also gives in Starburst of course. Don't worry, we will get over that later in the video. Beware though, as a high it is duckable. So mix it up with a mid such as forward forward 4 to punish duck attempts. It is also weak to sidestep left, here forward 3 is the perfect tool as to punish sad step attempts. And on a hard read, you can always go for. As for the instant while running to topic, it is not as needed as for Dragonov, but more needed than for Kazumi, since Claudio's is very fast and can surprise the opponent at close range for some huge damage or plus frames. Another factor that makes it a plus to know it is for combos as War Running 2 is his best combo ender, and most of his best damaging combos end with an instant War Running 2. As for how to do the instant War Running 2, I advise you to check out Dragonov's Essential, which goes into details on that subject. Claudio's <laughs> is the best hop kick in the history of Tekken. While it crushes lows like all hop kicks, it is one of those that also occasionally goes under highs, and even some meets, particularly if done from crouch, which will increase its evasive properties, thus making it a great panic move. It is also known for its crazy range, which makes it a very powerful whiff punisher, leading to some damaging combo. Something else that is important to note is that Claudio does not move forward while doing making it harder for opponents to punish it. However, keep in mind that it is weak to sidestep right and unsafe on block. Back 3 is Claudio's equivalent to a generic down forward 1. Compared to most down forward ones, it is somewhat lacking in range and is more negative on block at minus 4. However, 
it is still a fast and safe mid that is used to keep the opponent honest. It also tracks quite well, but can be evaded by sidewalk left. On both hit and counter hit, it leaves you at plus 7 to start Claudio's mix-up game. And as a bonus, being a knee, it is unparryable, aside from Jean and Gith, of course. Sidestep 4 is Claudio's best low at close range. It is somewhat slow and leaves him standing during the entire animation, but is only mildly punishable on block at minus 11. This deal very good damage and also tracks well, except to sidewalk left. It is also Claudio's third best Okizeme move and is particularly good at the wall since your opponent cannot backdash out of it and can be mixed up effectively with forward 3 which was flat on hit for a full combo, tracks and is safe on block. Since this move can only be accessed from sidestep it is highly recommended to know which direction your opponent is weak to. Please refer to the sidestep spreadsheet, the link can be found in the description. Back for 2 is one of Claudio's best string. It is a mid-mid, safe on block, massively delayable string, and combos on counter hit, even if fully delayed. Unfortunately though, it does not combo on normal hit. It does good damage, knocks down and wall splat. And on hit, it also grants Claudio a starburst. Awesome. Beware though that the first hit is launch punishable on block by the Mishimas and Brian at minus 14. So always try to complete the string as to be safe. It is also his second best combo ender, the first one being while running too. This is generally used as a spacing tool but be careful not to whiff it, as the recovery is really slow. If in rage, press forward forward after back for 2, as to get access to Claudio's rage drive, but we will cover that in detail later in the rage section. Claudio's down forward 2 is similar to Kazuya's, except that this is not a homing move. It is a fast mid that leads to big combos on counter hit, but is unsafe on block at minus 13, and weak to sidestep right. Back plus 1. While forward 3 is Claudio's mid homing move that crushes lows, back plus 1 is his mid homing move that goes under jabs since he has a low hitbox. Do note that this only occurs in its later frames, so generally cannot be used at close range to avoid jabs when at disadvantage. Even though it is as fast as forward 3, it deals less damage, but knocks down and wall splat on both hit and counter hit, leading to his best wall combo. Back plus 1 is also a screw move, but will be rarely used as such because of forward 3. On block, it is barely safe at minus 9 just like forward 3 and many others of Claudio's moves. Back plus 1 works very well after Starburst down 1-2 on block and hit, especially at the wall for obvious reasons. Down back 3 is a low that crushes highs and leads to damaging combos on counter hit. On normal hit, it is Claudio's best low and Okizeme moves in terms of damage, at 22 and 17 points respectively. Be very careful though, as it is launch punishable on block at minus 17, weak to sidestep right, and is quite slow with an obvious animation, meaning that some players can block this on reaction. 4-3 is Claudio's most reliable counter hit string launcher and a good keep out of frame trap move. The 4 loan is similar to a generic magic 4, albeit slightly slower at 12 frames. 4 3 ends in a 4 3 with nerf damage at 13 instead of 27, which means it is a mid homing screw move that will punish any attempt to sidestep or duck the 4. Like forward 3, 
4-3 is very positive on hit and just barely safe on block at, you guessed it, minus 9. It also have a low crushing property. Its utility comes from its counter hit launching property, leading to an instant screw and sadly Claudio's least damaging combos from around 54 to 60 points of damage. It is important to note that the 4 alone is a simple knockdown on counter hit and you cannot combo from it. You may want to use it by itself when at range to disorientate the opponent trying to with punish, but at close range there is no real reason not to finish the string. Claudio's down 3 is not like your generic down 3. Well, duh. You mean, yeah. right? Never mind. So, as I was saying, Claudio's down 3 is not your typical down 3. It has excellent range, deals better damage, and surprisingly, it tracks extremely well, which makes it a pseudo low homing move. It is also Claudio's fastest ground hitting move, but only for 9 points of damage, so is rarely worth the risk. Oh, and he also points at his opponent, which is great for style points. Down 3 is a great high crushing low poke, especially when used at tip range against aggressive opponents to frustrate them into mistakes, which can then be punished with a lovely <coughs> Be wary though, as down 3 is launch punishable on block and negative on hit, so you can't use it to sustain pressure. But if used at tip range, most launch punish options are out of range, which sets up for a hop kick with punish. If you are in a mirror fight against another Claudio, just go for it. Claudio, or 1 plus 2 to another 1 plus 2 forward 2 on hit, is a mid natural combo that deals crazy damage 58 on hit and 62 on counter hit, has amazing range and usually changes sides with the opponent, though this is inconsistent. After the third hit, it gives Star Burst and puts the opponent on the floor for an added mix up with sidestep 4 and forward 3. All of this making it the best whiff punishment tool at longer ranges when you're not sure if a will connect and if you don't have Star Burst for a forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, but more on this later. The first hit alone can also be used as a spike move on the Forgotten Realm stage. While all of this sounds overpowered, it is balanced by its linearity and being punishable on block at minus 14. The combo will also not work if done too much off axis or done at absolute tip range, but only a matter of a few pixels and exceptionally rare. It is also very important to know the timing of the combo since if not timed right, it will stop in the middle. Or you can always just smash it out. Before going any further, let's take a break and talk about Starburst. No, not this one. That's better. Starburst is Claudio's, which means power in Italian. It is a unique state that is shown on the screen by Claudio's right arm being on fire, as well as his left eye going all David Bowie, with also the appearance of a tattoo near it, and him shouting a beautiful. To access this state, you have to successfully hit the opponent with specific moves. These are 2, 1, 2, 1 plus 2 on hit, 1 plus 2 on hit, forward 2, forward 2, 2, back 2, back 4, 2, forward forward 2, 1 plus 2, or full crouch, down forward 2, 1 plus 2, while running 2, and while standing 2. In the case of a string, it is always the last hit that grants Starburst, with the exception of Claudio's Rage Drive that gives him Starburst in any situation, but we'll get to that later on. 
Okay, but what's the point? Well, let me speak and I'll tell you. The point of Starburst is that it gives access to some unique moves that some will call broken, which I say to them. These are Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, Starburst down 1, 2, Starburst down 2, 2, Starburst down back 1 plus 2, and Starburst back 4, 3, 2. Claudio Starburst is consumed on the first frame of the last hit of each string, or in the case of Starburst down back 1 plus 2, as soon as the animation starts. Which means that if you get hit while the animation is occurring, you lose Starburst. The Starburst can only be used once and then need to be refilled, and it cannot be stacked. Okay, now that you know how Starburst works, let's get back to our top moves. Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, or is Claudio's most important Starburst move, and one of the best moves in the game. It is a hit confirmable mid natural combo with amazing range as mentioned before. Especially since even if the first move whiffs, the second will add some more range that can catch opponent trying to punish. This move puts the opponent in a unique upside down spin state on both hit and counter hit, leading to some of his most damaging combos, going from around 75 to 81 points of damage, making it his go-to with punish tool, when you have Starburst of course. While the first move alone is very linear and launch punishable on block at minus 18, the whole string is weak to sidestep right and safe on block at minus 9. This move works really well after a down forward 4 or a up forward 2 on block, since Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 has a low hitbox, so we'll go under jab in its later frames. Starburst down 2 2 is Claudio's high crushing low launcher that leads to some of his most damaging combos from around 67 to 77. This is balanced by its slow animation and the fact that it is not a natural combo, except on counter hit, which means that alert opponents can block the second hit even if they are hit by the first one. On block, both hit are mildly punishable at minus 11 and minus 12 respectively, and both hits are weak to sidestep right. The first hit can be used by itself as a low poke to bait the opponent into ducking, which can be punished by a wall standing 2 launcher into a combo. Don't use it too much though, as wall standing 2 is punishable on block at minus 14. Starburst down 1 2 is one of Claudio's most underrated moves. It is a damaging mid natural combo that is very positive on counter hit at plus 8, and bizarrely, the same on normal hit and block at plus 3. This makes it one of his best frame trap tools. And backdashing after also sets up for easy with punish opportunities. With a classic or less safe on block but more damaging alternative in down forward 1 2 or a uh, for style points and to rub the opponent's face in the dirt where they belong. The first hit also has good range since Claudio steps forward during the animation, and similarly to Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, even if the first hit whiffs, the second has a lot of range. It is also great as a keep out tool, especially if the opponent is fond of dashing and then blocking to bait out moves. But keep in mind that the full string is very linear and the first hit alone is barely safe on block at again minus 9. Finally, the second hit also leads to a screw state, which is Claudio's better one. Claudio's or Starburst down back 1 plus 2 is a really special combo. 
as soon as you do the input, both hits will sequentially come out. The first hit is a slow mid that deals 20 damage and is weak to sidestep right. And the second is an unblockable BALL GROPPLER that also deals 20 damage and can be easily stepped to either directions. On hit and counter hit, this is a natural combo that knocks down. On block, it leaves the opponent with 9 frames to react between the two hits, which means they cannot attack, but can backdash or sidestep in between, granting them an easy launch punish. That is why this move is a bit gimmicky, and should be used sparingly against aware opponents. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect! This move works better near wall, since it leaves the opponent not too far as for guaranteed sidestep fall. This hit can also be a great way to end the match. <laughs> Perfect! He just came right into it! Uh, thank you! As uh, some sort of cherry on the Claudio cake. Up forward 3 is another of Claudio's most underrated moves. It is a jumping mid kick that knocks down on counter hit and obviously crushes lows for some decent damage. It does not knock down on normal hit but is very positive at plus 6. Also, it has good range and is possible to do in neutral or backwards, making it a good evasive tool. And as a bonus, it can be used as a spike move on the temple stage. Its main use is to apply pressure since it is plus one on block and forces the opponent into crouch, which can lead to some frame traps and weave punish setups. However, keep in mind that it is really linear and very slow, so it can be easily floated with a jab or down forward one. Back 1 plus 2 is Claudio's only power crush, and it is one of the better ones in the game. It is a mid with good range that, like most power crush, starts to absorb hits on its 8th frame. On hit and counter hit, it forces the opponent into crouch and gives some good frame advantage at plus 4, allowing for an uninterruptible down forward 4 to get back to Claudio's optimal range, or back 3 to stay at close range and apply pressure. Near a wall, down for 3-1 will lead to a wall splat and combo. On block, it is punishable at minus 12 and leaves the opponent standing. It is also weak to sidestep right. And it does go under some high since it has a low hitbox in its later frames. Oh! 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 I just spank him in the air! <laughs> it is a particularly important tool for Claudio since it is a good panic move used to get out of close range pressure and back to the mid range where Claudio is at his best. Oh, and let's not forget that this is Claudio's second best spike move for Forgotten Realms. Down forward 4 or is one of the key moves of Claudio's close range game. It is a fast mid barely safe on block and very linear. The best thing about this move is how the pushback on block or hit leaves Claudio at optimal range to use some of his best moves, such as forward 3 or down 3, which will crush any height responses. A classic after you spot a whiff or even a if down forward 4 is done from further away since it has better range. When you have Starburst, it can also set up the mighty Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 for some great damage. Awesome. Forward 2 2 is one of Claudio's most useful strings to get Starburst, since it is fast at 12 frames and quote, safe, unquote. The first hit, forward 2, is a good old smack, high, that by itself deals 9 points of damage is neutral on block and positive at plus 6 on both hit and counter hit, but weak to sidestep right. The full combo gels and is just a bit negative 
at minus 27. But after the second hit, Claudio elegantly backdashes away. Hopla! <laughs> ah, beautiful! Which makes him really hard to punish, but it is still doable. How hard? This depends vastly on the character, but since many players still fail to punish it consistently, even at high levels, this is a great tool to go back to the mid-range, where Claudio is at his best, and even get in some cheesy whiff punishers against opponents trying to dash in and apply pressure. On hit, it is a natural combo that deals 30 points of damage, grants a starburst, a crumple stun and also screws, but both of them are unusable due to Claudio's elegant backdash. This move is your go-to minus 12 punisher. Another notable move is wall standing 1-1, one -one, in the fact that it is pure art. Just look at this beautiful animation! Well, <laughs> more seriously, it is Claudio's second fastest wall standing move at 12 frames, after wall standing 4, which is 11 frames. The first hit, wall standing 1, is a mid that is safe on block and gives some good advantage on both hit and counter hit at plus 7, but is weak to sidestep left. Its extension, in wall standing 1 1, is a natural combo that deals 24 damage and is really positive on hit and counter hit at plus 9 to start Claudio's close range mix up game the way you want. On block, it is punishable at minus 12 and the opponent can duck and launch punish the second hit after blocking the first, since it is a high. So be careful to resist the urge to see this marvelous animation again. I know it is hard, but you can do it. Back 2 is another move that grants Claudio Starburst. It is a slow high at 14 frame that knocks down on both hit and counter hit with a solid 30 points of damage. On block, it is barely safe again at minus 9. Do not forget that has a high, it is duckable and launch punishable. It is also weak to sidestep right. Forward forward 2 1 plus 2 or fully crouched down forward 2 1 plus 2 is one of Claudio's most underrated moves. It is a mid, delayable combo that is natural when not fully delayed. It grants starburst, deals good damage and knocks down on hit. Not to mention the fact that Claudio moves drastically forward during it, making it a great approach tool from Crouch. Keep in mind though that it is mildly punishable on block at minus 13, can be sidewalk left, and although it seems as though it goes under highs, it does not. Also, as an elbow, the first hit cannot be parried, except by Geese and Jin, but never do the first hit alone as it is launch punishable on block and very negative on hit and counter hit at minus 7. There is an alternative to this string in forward forward 2-2 two, two, or fully crouched down forward 2-2 two, two, which is a mid-high delayable combo that unlike its alternative is natural even when fully delayed. Safe on block gives some nice frame advantage on hit and counter hit at plus 6 and always forces the opponent into crouch. It is also Claudio's best spike move in terms of damage, but doesn't give Starburst, and as a high, can obviously be ducked and punished. Il mio potere. Claudio's forward 3 plus 4 is a high homing move, which deals good damage, knocks down on both hit and counter hit, and puts the opponent in a face down feet towards position, for a guaranteed down back 3 which deals a total of 42 damage. And against the bears, it can start a full combo from around 65 to 75 points of damage. It is also positive on block at plus two, which is great for a homing move. So you can follow it up with a jab or a 4-3 that will trade with an enemy jab, but is generally in Claudio's favor, or forward to two that will also trade with jabs. It also has good range, since Claudius moves forward during the animation, 
While all this sounds a bit too good to be true, its weakness comes from it being a slow standing high at 17 frames, which, as you can guess, can be ducked and punished or simply interrupted. <laughs> Forward fall is one of Claudio's best cross-range pressure moves. It is a mid that forces the opponent into crouch on hit and leaves you at plus 7 to start Claudio's mix-up game or to push back the opponent at the mid-range with a down forward 4. On counter hit, it knocks down and put the opponent in a face down, feet away position, again allowing for a guaranteed down back 3 for a total of 44 points of damage. And it also has a spike property. On block, it does not force the opponent into crouch, but leaves you at the same frame advantage as forward 3 plus 4 at plus 2. So, the same follow-ups are available. But keep in mind that it is extremely linear and easily interruptible with a 22 frame startup. Down forward 3 2 is a fast string starting from a mid, coming out in 14 frames and is completely safe on block. The second hit is a high though, so make sure to hit come from this, since this is a natural combo even if fully delayed. On hit, it gives you an advantage of 4 frames, so you can continue your attack with a back 3, down forward 4, 4 3, or even a down forward 2, which, if the opponent jabs, will trade in Claudio's favor with a full combo. Its downside comes from the fact that its range is average, and the first hit is weak to sidestep left. If you noticed that the opponent is ducking after down forward 3, the string can be changed partway into down forward 3 1, which is a mid mid combo that will punish and prevent these attempts, since it is also a natural combo that is hit confirmable. On hit, it sends the opponent back flipping through the air, which makes it perfect near a wall for a splat and combo. Again, be sure to hit confirm this string as it is punishable on block at minus 13. Damage wise, down forward 3-2 deals a total of 24 damage and down forward 3-1 deals 27. As for the first hit by itself, it is more negative on block than the down forward 3-2 extension, but still is safe at minus 7. On hit, it is also plus 4, allowing for the same follow-ups. Hub forward 2 is like Hub forward 3's big brother. Like his little brother, it is very linear. Low crashes, knocks down on counter hit and also on regular hit in this case. It is even slower than Hub forward 3 at 25 frame and has terrible range. Its main strength though is that it is plus 9 on block. But since the pushback is quite significant, you are limited to long range moves such as Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 on hit, 1 plus 2 on hit forward 2, and back forward 2. It is an effective tool against opponent that freezes up right in front of Claudio, and is especially effective at the wall due to the threat of wall splat from Claudio's many safe splatting mids. And since the pushback is reduced, it can now also pressure with lows. But again, use with extra care, since it is a very slow move and can easily be floated for a juggle. Down 1 plus 2 is one of Claudio's fastest mids that knocks down on both hit and counter hit at 13 frames with a wall splat property and some really good damage. It also has a really weird hitbox and animation, making some spooky things happen on the screen. <laughs> Due to its speed and evasive properties, it be used defensively as a last resort gamble to stop the opponent's pressure. <laughs> Use with caution though, as it is launch punishable at minus 18 and can also be stepped to the right. It is mainly used as a minus 13 punisher and at the wall it is the preferred punisher since it's splat for a big combo that can also ground a free star burst. This move can also be done when your back is turned from the opponent by simply pressing 1 plus 2. 
It is a misconception that this is faster though, as it has exactly the same properties and frame data as its front version. Oh, and since both of them are shoulders, they are unparable. Well, except for these damn gin and geese. Forward Forward 4 is a long range meet that is useful to mix up with his primary approach tool, the Superman Punch! However, beware that both Wild Running 2 and Forward Forward 4 are weak to sidestep left, but Forward Forward 4 will track a little bit to Claudio's right and so can catch their sidestep left, but is fully weak to sidestep right. It's safe on block at minus 5 and knocks down on hit for a solid 20 points of damage, also making it one of his stable combo fillers. And as a knee, it is unparryable. What a side for the two clowns. Forward 2, 1, 1 plus 2, more commonly known as the Trinity of Pain, is one of Claudio's best pressure strings. It starts off with a slappy forward 2 that we already talked about in the forward 2 2 part. The second hit is a mid that forces the opponent into crouch on hit. On block, it does not, and is punishable at minus 13. Though, knowledgeable opponents may be hesitant to do this, due to the string handle. These first two hits aren't delayable, but can spike on the tempo stage. The third hit is literally a down 1 plus 2. It deals the same damage, knocks down, and is still launch punishable on block at minus 18. Oh, and it's still have a spooky hitbox. What makes it useful is how it can be massively delayed as to trick the opponent into attacking. Generally, most of Claudio's strings are, at most, two hits, and this is one of his few three hit strings. So opponents may not be expecting this. Use with caution though, as it is easily launch punishable. This string is particularly effective at the wall to splat over and over and over again aggressive opponents into your favorite Claudio wall combo. Il mio Claudio's Rage Art. Definitely one of my favorite Rage Art in the game. Sorry, <laughs> let's go into it now. This is a completely standard Rage Art with no defining properties. It is a mid that starts up in 20 frames, absorbs all hit, including lows, from the hate frame is invulnerable to throws and is very negative on block at minus 22. Claudio's Rage Drive is one of the better ones in the game, in its versatility and damage potential. It can be accessed by pressing forward forward after back for 2. Claudio will do a very fast dash forward and instantly get starburst. It is important to note that he will get starburst even on whiff or on block. On hit, you get access to his Rage Drive combos, which we'll cover in detail later. On block, it is plus 7, letting you do pretty much what you want, from a Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, to a Starburst down 2, 2, or even a forward forward 3 plus 4, which is Claudio's both handed throw. And if you are sure that your opponent will freeze up, you can try a Starburst down back 1 plus 2. Ball fire. Being 7th in frame, it can also be a great block punish tool, especially if you don't have Starburst. With around 78 to 85 points of damage, Claudio's Rage Drive can also be used inside combos, but I wouldn't advise it, since there's so much more potential than this, as just in before. <laughs> This combo section is going to be a bit different from the ones you are used to see on the channel. In fact, we are gonna go through every launches and see from at least 2 to 4 combos per launches, going from the least damaging 
to the most damaging ones. Difficulty will also follow that logic. Another rule for these combos is that they will all give or give back Starburst. Now let's get started with up 4 and up forward neutral plus 4, which both have the same combos. Claudio's most popular and easiest combo is forward 3 as to initiate the screw, forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, back 4, 2. Nothing to say about this combo, it is pretty straightforward. Same for its delayed upkick version. Now let's get into his medium difficulty combo. Do back 3, forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw, and finish with a roll running 2. The difficulty in this combo comes from the almost instant forward forward 4 after the first back 3, but this can be easily mastered with a bit of practice. And same goes for the delayed version. Now it's time to get serious with Claudio's hard combo. Do forward 3 as to initiate the screw, forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, and an instant roll running 2. The difficulty in this combo obviously comes from the instant roll running 2 that you will need to practice a lot as to use inside combos. There is another tricky point to that combo, that is, when to do the 1 2 jabs. Because if they are not done at the right moment, the second will whiff, and so dropping the combo. As for up plus 4, you will need to buffer the jabs, which means you will need to press the 1 before the animation of back 3 ends, and then the 2 during the animation of the 1. This will make them 100% consistent against any characters. However, after up forward neutral plus 4, you will need not to buffer the jabs which will create a small delay of a few frames that will again make it consistent against any opponents. Now let's see Claudio's combo out of the same launchers but when he already has Starburst. Do back 2, 1, forward forward 4, back 3, Starburst down 1, 2 as you initiate the screw and a war running 2. In terms of difficulty, it is easier than the hard combo since it doesn't ask any instant war running too. But it is harder than the medium one since the window to the forward forward 4 is tighter. So again, practice needed. And again, same goes for the delayed upkick version. Now let's take a look at his combos from down forward 1, 2. First of all, the easy one. Do back 3, forward 2, 1, 2 forward 3 as to initiate the screw and finish with a wall running 2. Nothing to say about this combo, it is pretty easy. Now let's see his medium difficulty combo. Do back 3 and instant forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 3 as to screw and a running 2. The hard part in this combo is obviously the instant forward forward 4, but as for that I have a tip. Do not spam the back 3 after you launch, but hit it just once. It would make it easier to perfect the forward forward 4. Well, at least he did it for me. <laughs> now we go back into serious mode, cause we are gonna check his hard combo. So do forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 3 as to screw, run in, 1, 2, and an instant running 2. The hard parts of this combo are obviously the instant running 2, but also the almost instant forward forward 4 in the beginning. As for both of them, practice will be needed, and a lot of it. Now let's see his Starburst combo. Do back 2, 1, forward forward 4, back 3, Starburst down 1, 2 as to screw, and finish with a running 2. As always, practice your instant forward forward 4. And do note that this combo won't work on characters with small hitboxes, as the one will whiff from a few pixels. Now let's see his combos out of while standing 2. First of all, his easy one. Do back 3 to another back 3, forward 2, starburst down 1, 2 as to initiate the screw and finish with a running 2. It's an easy combo again, so nothing to say. As for his most damaging combo, do back 3, 2, an instant forward forward 4, back 3, Starburst down 1, 2 as to screw, and a war running 2. The hard part in this combo is, as you guessed it, the instant forward forward 4. Now let's take a look at Claudio's combos after a counter 8 4 3. As for his easy one, do 
a forward foot four, back three, forward two, back four, two. As always, it's an easy one, so nothing to say. Now let's see his most damaging combo. Do forward foot four, back three, one, two, and an instant while running two. The difficulty coming again from the instant while running two. And as for when to do the jabs, here you can do them whenever you want. Now let's take a look at the combos after a counter hit down forward 2. The easy one is forward 3 as to screw, forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, back 4, 2. Nothing special to note about this combo. As for the medium difficulty one, do a fast forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw, and a running 2. The difficulty here is to do the forward forward 4 fast enough as for it not to whiff pitifully, especially against characters with small hitboxes. It's time for the hard combo now. Do forward 3 as to screw, forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, and an instant while running 2. The difficulty coming again from this last one. And as for the 1 2 jabs, you are again free to do them whenever you want. Now let's see his Starburst combo. Do back two, one, forward forward four, back three, Starburst down one, two, as to initiate the screw, and finish with a running two. The difficulty coming again from the almost instant forward forward four. Now let us take a look at his combos after a down back three on counter hit. Since none of the next combos will work on bears, here is the most damaging one I found for them. Do while standing 4 into down back 4 3. Sadly, as you can see, it's only 46 damage and it doesn't give Starburst. But again, it's better than nothing. Now, as for his easy combo, do while standing 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw and a running 2. No comment on that. As for his medium difficulty, do an instant forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw and a one running too. The difficult part in this combo is obviously the instant forward forward 4 that will make you go out of crouch instantly since it's a dashing move. I have a tip as to make it more consistent. As soon as you see Claudio starting to stand back up, do the first forward. Wait for like half a second, then do the second forward and the 4 that you will hold. Result guaranteed. Now let us discover his hard combo. Do an instant forward forward 4. Back three, four, two, four, three has to screw, run in, one, two, and an instant to are running two. The hard parts being the instant forward, forward, four that I just gave you a tip before, but also, of course, the instant to are running two. Again, practice will be needed. Now, let us take a look at his Starburst combo. Do an instant forward forward four back three starbus down one two as to initiate the screw running one two and an instant while running two. This combo exactly have the same hard parts as the previous one. Now let us explore his combos after a low parry. His easy one being forward three as to screw forward forward four back three forward two back four two. No comment on this one. So next. Do a fast forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw and finish with a wire running 2. The fast forward forward 4 can be tricky if you didn't expect your parry to be successful. Now let us adventure ourselves into his hard combo. Do forward 3 as to screw, forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, and an instant wire running 2. The difficult part obviously being the instant warning too. And as for the 1-2 jabs, here you will need to buffer them. Now, as for his Starburst combo, do back 2, back 3, a micro dash to another back 3, Starburst down 1-2 as to screw, and finish with a war running 2. The difficulty in this combo comes from the micro dash in between the two back three that will need a few hours of practice to master. It is time to take a look at Starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. It's easy one being a dash to a forward 3 as to screw, forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, back 4, 2. As I'm sure you're used to it by now, nothing to say on easy combos. Now let's take a look at his medium difficulty one. Do forward forward four, 
back three, one, two, forward three as initiate the screw and finish with a running two. This combo is not that much harder from the previous one, so should be your go to, except if you can do a run in into a forward three as the screw, forward forward four, back three, one, two, in an instant war running two. The hard part being, as always, the instant war running two. And as for the one, two jabs case, here, do not buffer them. Now let's take a look at his combos after a starburst down two, two. As for the easy one, you will need to do wall standing one, back three, one, two, forward three as to initiate the screw and finish with a wall running two. Do note that this combo won't work on bears since the forward three will whiff. As to avoid that, simply replace the 1-2 with a single forward 2. Or if you have trained your fast forward forward 4, you can go for the medium difficulty combo. So do a fast forward forward 4, back 3, 1-2, forward 3 as to screw, and finish with a running 2. As just said before, the fast forward forward 4 will be the tricky part of this combo. Now, let's see the hard combo. Do a crouch cancel to a forward 3 as to screw, forward forward 4. Back three, one, two, and an instant while running two. The tricky parts being, of course, the instant while running two, but also the crouch cancel for three, which you can do in two different ways. The first one being a light up to a forward three, and the second way being a forward forward, hold second forward, and then three, which I personally use. As for the one two jabs, here, do not buffer them. It is also important to note that this combo won't work on small hitboxes, since the second hit of the 1-2 jabs will whiff, no matter when you do it. So here is an alternative for them. Do a fast forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw, run in, 1-2, and an instant war running 2. The hard parts, again being the instant war running 2, but also the fast forward forward 4. Let us now move on. To the combos after a starburst back four three two the easiest one being back three forward two forward two forward two forward three has to initiate the screw and we are running two nothing to say except to say that it is funny to say now we move on straight to the hard combo which is back one a deep forward forward four back three one two and an instant we're running two the tricky part, as always, is the instant we're running to. And as for the 1-2 jabs here, you can do them whenever you want. Keep in mind that this combo won't work on characters with small hitboxes, nor bears, since the back one will whiff. As for them, here is an alternative combo. Do back 3, forward 2, forward 2, forward 3 as to screw, run in. 1, 2, and an instant war running 2. Hard point, you guessed it, the instant war running 2. We are now arriving at the rage drive combos. The easy one is forward 3, forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, back 4, 2. Easy, so nothing to say. Now as for the medium difficulty combo. Do an instant forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, forward 2, Starburst down 1, 2, as to initiate the screw, and a wall running 2. The instant forward forward 4 in the beginning can cause some problem, and so here is a tip as to make it more consistent. Press the first forward as soon as you see Claudio turning blue and dashing forward. Wait for a bit less than a second, and then hold the second forward and press the 4. Be wary though that this combo won't work on bears, since this same forward forward 4 will whiff. Moving on to the hard combo now. Do forward 3 as to initiate the screw, forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, and an instant while running 2. As always, practice your instant while running 2 as to be successful. As for the 1-2 jabs, here you will need to buffer them. And as you can guess by the presence of Lars, this combo won't work on small hitboxes because of the 1-2 jabs again since the second hit will whiff no matter what you will do. But worry not, friend, as I have an alternative for them. So do an instant forward forward 4, back 3, starburst down 1, 2 as to initiate the screw, run in, 1, 2, and an instant war running 2. But this combo is a bit harder than its alternative, since it combines the instant war running 2 with the instant forward forward 4 in the beginning. 
Also, it does not work on bears because of this same forward fold 4. Now let us discover his combos against the back turned opponent. His fastest one. 2, 1, 2. As you can guess, nothing more to say about it. At 15 frames, he get access to down forward 1, 2, back 3, 1, 2, forward 3 as to initiate the screw, and a running 2. As to make this combo 100% consistent, you will need to delay the 1 2 jabs a little bit. If you already have Starburst, you get access at 17 frames to a very damaging combo in Starburst back 4, 3, 2, back 3, forward 3 as to screw, and an almost instant for running 2. But really, do not worry about this last one, since it is really not that hard to do. Now, time to look at his combos after an instant screw. The easiest one being a deep forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, back 4, 2. As you probably have already understood, I'm not putting the damage of the screw in the damage output, since it can vary from one to another. Regarding the hard combo, you will need to do a deep forward forward 4, back 3, 1, 2, and an instant while running 2. Again, practice your instant while running 2. And regarding the 1-2 jabs, here you will need not to buffer them. Now, let us have a look on the combos after a forward 3 plus 4 against bears only. Starting already at medium difficulty with a micro dash to a back 3, 1, 2, forward 2, forward 3 has to initiate the screw and finish with a wire running 2. What can cause problem here is the micro dash to the back 3 after the forward 3 plus 4. As for that, I have an advice for you. Focus your attention on Claudio's head and as soon as you see him starting to look back at the opponent, do your forward forward and then back 3. But even knowing that, you will need to practice it. Let us now see how we can make this even harder. Do a micro dash to a back 3. 2, forward 3 as to screw, run in, 1, 2, and an instant raw running 2. But do not worry, this last one will be easier than your harvest one, since bears have a really generous hitbox, at least for that. In the case that you already had Starburst, it is far better to do a micro dash to a back 3, 2, an instant forward foot 4, back 3, Starburst down 1, 2 as to screw, and finish with a right running 2. As for this combo, you will need of course to practice the micro dash to the back 3, but also your instant forward forward 4. Well, it seems we have seen everything, haven't we? No, there is still the mad combo, of course. This combo will work after a 4. A forward neutral plus 4, down forward 1, 2. Counter hit, down forward 2. Counter hit. Down back 3, low parry, a starburst, forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, a starburst down to 2, and finally, a rage drive. This combo is an instant forward forward 4, back 3, forward 2, to another forward 2, forward 3 as to screw, run in as close as you can, 1, 2. And then you was perfect in stand for running too. <laughs> Let us now develop on the hard parts of this combo. Cause of course, there are many. First of all, we have the instant forward forward 4 that you will need to practice as always. After that, we have the running to the one two jabs. This specific running will be harder than the other ones you have seen until now since we have added another forward 2 before the forward 3, which will make your opponent go even further away after the screw, and so you will need to run even more as to catch him. But not only that, you will need to go further enough as to make the perfect instant while running 2 possible. That's right, you will need to do a perfect instant while running 2. Which means that if you thought that any of the instant warning two you have seen before were hard, you don't know about this one. And the madness <laughs> does not stop there, because this combo will only make you win from 1 to 2 more points of damage 
comparing to the hard combos seen before. <laughs> yes, only one to two points of damage. <laughs> As for the wall carry, Claudio has some sort of top move. Sekuzi. No, ah, stop! Go away! Go away! Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, he has some sort of top move in up forward 3 plus 4. As most of Claudio's combos have already great wall carry, you will just need to use up forward 3 plus 4 when you arrive near a wall. This will work after almost any moves. The exceptions are after a forward forward 4 or after the jabs at the end of a hard combo. Before getting into his wall combos, here is a list of Claudio's wall splatting moves, going from the most damaging to the least damaging ones. And in the case of a string, I'm only counting the damage from the last hit. First, we have back 2 plus 3. If you hit this one at the wall, you have earned the jackpot. Then, while running 2, down 1 plus 2 or back to 1 plus 2, forward 2, 1, 1 plus 2, forward 3, 2, 1, 2, up forward 2, back 3 plus 4, up forward 3 plus 4, back 1, back 4, 2, forward forward 2, 1 plus 2, forward forward 4, while standing 2, star bus forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, while standing 3, up 4, 4, 3, down forward 1, 2, and finally down forward 3, 1. Onto the wall combos now. The damage of the splatting move won't be counted in the damage output. First of all, let's start with the combos that give Starburst. The simplest one being 2, 1, 2. It does not give any Okizeme opportunities. Then we have a not so simple instant while running 2 that gives a bit of Okizeme. And finally we have a back dash to a back 2, down forward 3, 2, down 1 plus 2. That doesn't give any Okizeme, but is Claudio's most damaging wall combo. Now, as for the wall combos that doesn't give Starburst, the easiest one is 1, 2, to a forward 3. No Okizeme as for this one. As for his most damaging combo without a resplat, do down forward 3, 2, down 1 plus 2. Do note that due to down 1 plus 2, strange hitbox and animation, some weird things can happen, especially against bears. And again, no Kizeme as for this one. But if you prefer to have some, do down forward 3, 2 to a back 3. Cloud your main Okizeme mix up move, being a sidestep 4 and forward 3 that can chain into another combo if successful. Talking about Okizeme, here is a list of Claudio's ground hitting moves, from again the most damaging to the less damaging. Down back 3, 3 plus 4, sidestep 4, down 3, and down 2. As we are listing moves, here are all of Claudio's screw moves. First we have 2, 1, 2, but that is very unpractical and hurt the combo scaling a lot. Then Starbucks down 1, 2, forward 3, back. 1, 4, 3, that is less damaging due to scaling, and finally forward 2, 2, that is useless since you cannot combo after it. And let's finish off our lists with Claudio's spike move for the Forgotten Realm stage. Let's start with forward 2, 2, back 1 plus 2, forward 4, up forward 3, forward 2, 1, 1 plus 2, and a generic up forward neutral plus 2. And last but not least, here are Claudio's mini combos. After a forward 4 on counter hit, do a down back 3. And after a forward 3 plus 4, do a down back 3. Do this.
you win. Forse ho esagerato. Claudio's gameplay is based around defensive space control in the mid range. So you need to have strong movement to maximize his potential. While he has an amazing approach tool with running 2, at close range he struggles to put on the pressure due to his poor lows, throws and lack of strings. Much of your damage will be coming from whiff punishing the opponent, with Claudio's incredible launches. His juggle damage and wall carry are also excellent, and most combos come with the added bonus of Starburst, oh, which dramatically increases his offensive potential. At higher levels of play, due to his small move list, a Claudio will need to have solid fundamentals to be successful. Mastering the running too is also key to maintaining pressure. So while his game plan is straightforward, there are challenging aspects to this character. Before getting into your optimal range, you will first need to gain the life lead at close range. For that, Claudius jabs, back 3 and sidestep 4 are his primary pressure and mix-up tools. You can also use forward 4 or forward 3 plus 4 to get a bit of frame advantage and punish reckless opponents heavily with counter hit baiting moves such as for 3 or down for 2. You can also go for riskier, low crushing options such as up for 3. And if you have mastered the instant while running 2, just go for it! If you have Starburst, down 1 2 can give you some easy frame traps. Or you can try to open up your opponent with a down 2 2 mix up. When you have gained the life lead, you need to get back to your throw, the mid range. For that, use the 13 frame mid down forward 4, or the very difficult to punish forward 2 2, but you can also use the backward version of up 3. If you find yourself under a lot of pressure, back 1 plus 2, Claudio's power crush can be a good tool to knock the opponent away and get back to the mid range, or capitalize on the plus frames. Now that you are back in your optimal range, you can use Claudio's amazing space control moves, the main one being while running too, especially if you know how to do it instantly, since it does massive burst damage, is plus 7 on block, and very fast at 13 frames, and of course gives starburst. Mix this up with forward forward 4, a safe long range mid me, then we have back forward 2, a safe long ranged mid string with massive delay, and if the second it connects, it gives starbursts. And of course, we can't forget forward 3 and back 1 as excellent long range homing moves. And finally, down 3, that is also a pseudo low homing move with very decent range. Couple these powerful long range moves with movement to bait the opponent into making mistakes that you can then with punish with or if you have starburst for some crazy combo damage and of course everyone's favorite if you don't have starburst which also doubles up as an incredible keep out move tu tu sei un umano con la forza di un demone the rule number 1 against the claudio is you gotta stay close. As you may have gathered by now, Claudio is at his best in the mid range. So if you play a rushdown orientated character, you should aim to close the distance as soon as possible and suffocate him with pressure. Try to bully him towards the wall, since he won't be able to backdash out of close range. If you still find yourself at the mid range, try to backdash away if possible so as to make Claudio's long range moves with, since they are all really slow to recover, opening him up to with punishment. Always be on guard at any point for the Superman punch. If you see him dash forward, it is recommended that you sidestep left, which will evade two of the four main options he has, but especially the most dangerous one being while running two. Even if you block the running two, since Claudio lacks a strong throw game and has weak lows, it's not the end of the world. 
just make sure you don't walk right into a counter hit baiting or whiff to hop kick setup. As for tracking, most of Claudio's move list is technically weaker to sidestep left, but most of his best moves have to be stepped to the right. Since Claudio is quite a basic character, he will mostly be sticking to a small selection of top moves, so sidestep right is generally recommended at close range, while sidestep left is recommended in the mid range as to avoid his wall running too. Be careful with your sidestep though, because Claudio has some of the best homing moves in the game, and some other moves that tracks really well. Claudio is not a string heavy character, he mostly relies on single hits for big damage, but he still does have some strings with deceptively long delay, so be careful of back for 2, back for 3, the second hit of this one can be ducked and punished, but I wouldn't advise it since most Claudio will only use the back for 2 since back for 3 is just garbage. Down forward 3 1, down forward 3 2, ducking here is at your own risk. Forward forward 2 2, forward forward 2 1 plus 2, and their full crouch versions. Again, ducking the second hit can be dangerous and starburst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, which are all 2 hit strings that can all be immensely delayed. As for his non-delayable and minorly delayable strings, don't press buttons in the middle of 4, 3, down forward 1, 2, down back 4, 3, this one does not gel on it, so you can duck and punish the second hit, especially since there is no alternative to that string. While standing 1-1, one, one, if you block the first one, you can duck and launch punish the second, starburst down 2-2, two, two. this one does not gel on it too, so you can block and punish the second hit if you are on the ball. And finally, starburst down 1-2, he has exactly 3-3 three, three hit strings, being 2-1-2, two, two. starburst back 4, 3, 2, and forward 2, 1, 1 plus 2. Be especially careful of this last one by the wall, since it's flat to a big combo. If you block it though, make sure to launch punish. Well, it seems we are finally arriving at the end of this breakdown. Objection!
Well, this time we are really arriving at the end of this breakdown. The end of month of work for me. I really hope that you have learned a lot of new stuff about Claudio that if you did before, you don't think of him as a cheap character anymore. Though I know trolls are trolls. And that this hour with me wasn't a torture for your ears, thanks to my French accent. Bonjour, croissant, baguette, omelette au fromage. And I leave you by reminding you to forget about Claudio's cringe crouch walking animation and the fact that his eyes tend to squint when he gets starburst. I hope to talk to you guys again very soon. Au revoir.